Okay, so what if um, I, I, I heard someone or was in the form of a question um, praying for someone else to get well? Well, I think it's, it's in general it's good to pray for someone to get well, but there's various things to, to look at. One is like if I prayed for someone to get well, I mean, what I think is well and what they need and what is in the interest of the highest good for them to get well can be totally two totally different things. Like, um, I go to 12-step groups, and uh, which can sound, you know, I mean, I, I do help people in 12-step groups related to addiction. And it's like, you know, we, we have this thing that we say in 12 steps, which is like, you know, you can work the program or you can go out and do more research. It's up to you. you know, it's absolutely fine with me. And uh, it sort of means like, I mean, I don't know, it's like if, if the person had a, a severe addiction, um, that there's a thing of like, um, sometimes it's known that they need to have another dose of the addiction before they'll have enough humility and pain mm -hmm. to actually take the spiritual course of action. So it's actually um, in their best interest for, 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 for myself to say to them, look, I know you're not ready. Well, you know, if you want to, go out there and keep enjoying your addictions. And you're welcome to come back and ask for help when you're ready. And it's, it sounds cruel. It sounds cruel, but, you know, the experience generally is that until there's enough pain, people will just carry on in those ego mechanisms uh, and they're not willing to put in the spiritual work to let go of the gravity uh, and the uh, habits and the addictions of the ego until there's enough pain and enough realization that that's, it just doesn't work that way, you know, and, and it's now so painful they're willing to do the work uh, and be humble and open to the work to, to let go of the ferocity of the ego. So now, to a lot of people, I'd say, out of the 12-step groups, it would sound very cruel and callous, you know. It's like, oh, you're not really ready to put in the work, so I should really try and just be loving and kind to you and try and encourage you to do the work. But you kind of know they're not ready to do it. And actually, the only thing that's probably going to make them ready to do it is tell them, you know, just, uh, if you, th uh, you know, carry on with your addiction if that's what you want. You know, because in a way, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a form of kindness because it means that they're probably going to hit pain faster and then uh, get out of it. You know, it's like, uh, you know, and uh, it'd be actually the wrong thing to do, to do, you know, what a lot of mothers, I shouldn't say the word mother, should I? <laughs> a lot of family will try and rescue a person, which just means that you prolong, you prolong uh, the person suffering until they hit rock bottom and actually have enough pain to start getting well. You know, they have to make the decision to get well and put in the effort. So if family members and other people are just trying to enable and rescue them over and over again, they're not going to hit the pain so they can make the decision to get well themselves because someone else is trying to rescue them all the time. And so there's no, the other person hasn't got enough vested interest in, in hitting that pain and making the decision themselves. To, to get well themselves because other people are trying to rescue them and so they, they're not going to hit the pain that they need before they'll actually make their choice for themselves. So in 12-step groups we kind of know this um, and to other people I'd say who have a misunderstanding of spirituality would probably think that's cruel. You know, like this person's got an addiction, even though they don't want to get well, you should try and be nice to them and try and help them and support them to get well. It's going to be a waste of time much better to work with someone else who's got the, the pain threshold and is now willing to put in the work, as anyone who's been a long time in these spiritual groups will know. So, um, okay, so, so it's this thing of humility. It's like, okay, this person, like, uh, I'm pr you know, this person's got a nasty drug addict is drug addiction. I'm just praying. I'm going to pray to God ferociously for them to stop using drugs, and because uh, I'm a good boy, and I'm going to pray for this person to stop using drugs, I expect that God should definitely do that because I'm going to pray really hard, you know. And it's like, okay, I've been praying for this person to get well, and they still haven't got well, so that must mean there is no God, 
uh, or God isn't kind and nice and loving, and uh, the person didn't get well. Uh, so I'm just not, not going to believe in God, and, uh, and it's all hocus pocus, and I just trust my ego, uh, and that will do better. Uh, and, uh, but there, there could be a larger picture which is not seen as to why the other person is not getting well. You know, it could be timing or it could be they need a rock bottom or it could be various lessons they need to. And it's not. And also it could be they're not getting well because there's various lessons I need to learn oh. uh, as well. You know, so they, it's like uh, they're, you know, they're there to, to help me to see a lesson of why I'm praying for them to get well and blaming God, you see. So there's this unseen... So the thing of the humility, because the ego always thinks it knows the answer, but sometimes there's things unseen and there's a greater picture why things aren't going the way when one's praying for a certain outcome or a certain timing. Uh, as long as you don't mind being on no, camera. Yeah. But what if you are... I mean, you, the, the context you answered this in was around addictive behaviour. and Yes. The perpetuation of addictive behaviour by enabling them. Yes. I guess. Yes. But what if their sickness isn't a result of addiction? Maybe what if it is phys a physical illness or a physical condition or a mental health issue, a diagnosed or undiagnosed mental health issue or something where a 12-step program isn't the solution? No, I think there's, there's, a, there's another... You see, <coughs> see, even someone some with a mental disorder, uh, and many of them, I know you can, you can, you can argue the point against it, but I'd say it's a possibility that a person with a mental disorder can take responsibility to seek the help themselves. And it can, they can be in a situation where other people are trying to rescue them and so they don't feel they need to take the responsibility to seek the help themselves. So it's still the same context as an addict, you see. You see, it's like while people are trying to rescue them, they're not going to seek, they're not going to come to enough pain from their own mental disorder that they actually take responsibility and say, I'm going to, I'm going to see a psychiatrist, I'm going to... I'm going to see a therapist, I'm going to seek the right help myself because you know, my family are just trying to bail me out all the time. So I'll just let them, they're, they're my rescuers, I'm not going to take any responsibility for my mental health problems or physical health problems, whatever it is. I definitely had this, you know, while my parents were around, I'm not going to take responsibility for my physical health, mental health or anything, financial responsibility or anything. As soon as they're out of the picture, I get a bit of pain and I start going, oh, well, I have to take responsibility for all this crap myself now. The buck ends with me, so I'll just have to do the right things now. So, but as long as people are around trying to rescue me, it's like there isn't the payoff. You know, I have secondary gain. I don't want to. I don't want to take responsibility. So, I'm not saying in all cases, but I think in some cases, definitely, and definitely where there's codependent dynamics going on, you know, um, I think uh, that, that there's risk of enabling going on, mm -hmm. and so the other person won't take responsibility because they. In a way, they need the pain of no one trying to support them to actually take responsibility and say, I, have, I will seek the help myself, you see. So that's a specific context. I'm not saying in every context, but that can be an option as well. So um, I use the word addiction because it's just very easy to see, but the other ones are more subtle to see. But I still think the same thing. You can have normal people... I mean, uh, I'm definitely one of them. You know, it's like when I when I have uh, when I've had people that are just going to bail me out of problems, I don't really take responsibility. Uh, as soon as there's no one to bail me out, I'll usually hit a bit of pain, and then I have to go. Well, oh my God, I have to take responsibility for this situation myself. But the power is when I take responsibility. It's not when other people are trying to rescue me. You see, and so that can be a, a, a very bad. In some situations, it can be the wrong dynamic. I'm not saying every situation, because every situation is context-specific. So the no one answer is right 100% of the time in every context. Um, so, yeah, and I think as well the thing of <clears throat> sometimes things are not happening even when you're praying because you can't see the big picture of what needs to happen. So, um, uh, and I think, uh, I'm starting to see this anyway. The more I see is the more... The more I, uh, I've been in the spiritual world, the more I see I don't understand, you know. And there's, there's far more uh, greater complexities at play than, than I could have even imagined. So it just makes me um, know that, uh, you, know, I can't, you know, if my ego is trying to see it, my, my ego has to be finite by nature, by, by definition. So 
to try and compute an infinite level, an infinite, uh, an infinite computational computation is impossible for my ego. It just can't see the whole picture. So it's obviously going to be, often could be making wrong assumptions. Or maybe God is tr really trying to help me by it not my, my prayers not working out. I don't know. You know, it, 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 there's various things that can be are often one a one eighty to what is uh, seen by the ego. Anyway, I think I'll, I'll stop there.